Good morning, John. I don't even know if you know this about me, but I have a condition. It's called sleep paralysis. It's very common, and it's when you wake up and you can't move. This usually happens after I've had a particularly intense dream, and it's only ever a couple of seconds for me. And I woke up in the middle of the night last night after having a dream in which Catherine got double pregnant. I don't know if you know about double pregnancy, but according to my dream, anyway, it's where a woman who is already pregnant gets pregnant again. And then there's two babies. There's an older one and a younger one, and the woman has the first baby, and the other one sticks around, and she's still pregnant for even longer. Which I assume is an anxiety dream, but it does actually make me want to check something out real quick here. Ah! You can! It's a real- it exists! I thought I was making a joke, you guys! It's called superfetation, and it's when your body accidentally releases another egg, and then that egg gets fertilized, and if it's early enough in the pregnancy, both of the eggs can become babies! Born at the same time, but different ages gestationally! What? What? Oh man, double pregnant! But anyway, so I wake up from this dream, I can't move, I'm a little bit confused about where exactly I am, because I'm on the wrong side of the bed, but then my movement comes back, except for the first time in my life, one arm, my right arm, does not come back and this does not mesh with what I understand about sleep paralysis. I'm a little bit freaking out, and I reach over to see, and here's what's happening. During my weird double pregnancy dream, I have done this. Just shoved my arm down my pants. <laughs> so that's why I couldn't move it. I was stuck in my pants. New topic now. As I was reading the comments on your most recent video, I, I noticed I had a couple of thoughts. First, yeah! Uh, our outfits. So you may have noticed, you may not have, that uh, for two weeks in a row, John and I wore the same outfits, not as each other. Like, you know, like the thing where you go to work the next morning and you're like, oh, I wore this yesterday, didn't I? That's embarrassing. Except, of course, with 250,000 people watching. There were conspiracy theories about this, that John and I had both pre-taped videos, uh, and now we're off on some secret adventure thing. No, in fact. And, and now it is the third week of us wearing the same outfits. The first two weeks... Actually, this is the case, though it seems unlikely. We did not do that on purpose. John wore the same shirt two videos in a row. I wore the same shirt and jacket two videos in a row. This week, uh, we did it just to continue messing with you. So, sorry about that. Another thing I was really struck by in the comments of your video is how many people don't know about all the stuff that we do. And of course, because we've done a lot of things over the last 10 years, and we are currently doing a lot of things. We got VidCon in Europe, Australia, and California coming up. We're working on a new SciShow channel with the topic to be chosen by Patreon patrons. A 10th anniversary NerdCon Nerdfighteria to plan, a wife to kill, and Gilder to frame for it. I'm not actually killing my wife, that was a Princess Bride reference. Building How to Vote, continuing Dear Hank and John, occasionally Snapchat, Helping found the Internet Creators Guild, which has done a great job of explaining why the demonetization thing isn't the end of YouTube, isn't the end of everything. If you want to read about that, there's a link in the description. It reminds me, as I tend to be reminded about once a year, that I don't always understand this community as well as I could. And the first time I realized that is when we created the first Nerdfighteria census in 2013. And I realize now that maybe I'm having this sensation because it's been another year since there's been a census and I haven't done another one, and so yes! It is time! I spent the five hours before recording this video putting together the Nerdfighteria census for 2016. It's a pretty involved survey. There are lots of questions. We want to get a really good, deep understanding of the people in this community so that we know better what to create, what you want from us, and what we should do together. It's hugely important to me and to John, and it's very important for this community. If you have the time to go take the census, please, please do. It's much appreciated. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Double the pregnant, double the fun, link to the census in the description.